This brief demo will introduce you to Aspen Tech's new emissions management solution. Let's start by looking at the enterprise view for a refining company, focusing specifically on carbon scope 1 and scope 2 emissions, refining margins, and carbon taxes. It's important to note that this dynamic enterprise interface is fully responsive, able to be viewed on a large operations center video wall or a handheld mobile device. The enterprise view is fed in real time by underlining modeling applications such as Aspen Aura, that calculates emissions based on available plant data and reporting rules. The model from Aspen Unified Planning identifies planned margins, yield, and carbon emissions. Now let's look at the company's refinery in France, where we can see the emissions are 50% higher than planned. This immediately tells the management team that mitigation measures must be taken to get carbon reductions back on track for the year. From here, you can drill down and look at other metrics for the site. This graph breaks down the major emitting process units. The blue bars indicate the planned CO2 levels, while the yellow bars show the actual emissions. You can see here the fluidized catalytic cracker, or FCC, is the largest emitter and the most overplan, followed by the site's utilities and on-site hydrogen plant. Managers may prefer using the bar charts, but the solution also provides a flow sheet view, giving flashing red visual cues as to which units the technical team should focus on. Using the solution's integrated digital twin models, engineers and operators can easily identify major carbon emitters and recommend back to managers where to take action. By visualizing the conditionally colored indicators in the flow sheet and then drilling down into the connected apps, we can quickly isolate major offenders and determine the root cause. In this case, emissions from the FCC, the utility system, the hydrogen network, and crude distillation units exceed the planned emission levels. A key benefit is that everyone responsible for a mitigation plan is working off the same data and same system. Plus, everyone has full visibility into what others are considering. Before taking action, the team will want to prioritize steps based on CO2 emission and profitability associated with individual process units and can share these steps with the sustainability and operating teams for rapid and informed decision making. The FCC drill down helps you see the specific opportunities for improvement. Here, the process engineer accesses the same system to identify the root cause using AI assisted models and determine operating changes, including temperature and throughput rates that can reduce CO2 emissions while also maximizing revenue opportunity. Here, the FCC engineer works from an Aspen hybrid model of the unit that is frequently recalibrated with plant operating data. The model combines first principles and AI modeling, rapidly updating the model to current conditions and running hundreds of predictive models in seconds. Non-engineers can see a simple curve that shows the impact of operating choices on CO2 emissions and the corresponding specific product yield in the FCC. The dispersion plots show different operating regimes and the associated CO2 emission levels. In today's high margin gasoline environment, the AI-based model's features are key in determining the optimal riser top temperature that minimizes CO2 emissions while maintaining maximum FCC throughput and light crack gasoline yield. This can be adjusted to give operators the key options in any economic situation. Summarized information from the planning model tells you with a simple bar chart that with the new operating condition, you are able to reduce CO2 emission and achieve increased profitability. This now becomes one option for CO2 reduction, and the other teams see the results of the FCC technical group's analysis. Now we turn to the crude units, where a similar drill down shows that actual emission levels in the CDU are also higher than the plan. In this case, there is also a higher energy consumption than the benchmark. The cause could be poor hydraulic performance at the distillation units or fouling in the preheat heat exchanger train. We can quickly look at both with this solution. A unique and powerful visual display shows the internal performance of the column. It's easily readable by others in operations. In this case, we quickly see that hydraulic profiles are within the recommended operating envelope, so that is not the cause of the emissions delta. Turning to a more detailed flow sheet, we see a heat exchanger is flashing, leading the technical team to check the falling rate in this unit. Sure enough, 
One of the heat exchangers is at a threshold, meaning reduced efficiency, excess fuel consumption, and higher CO2 emissions. The heat exchanger model runs an economic analysis showing that with a cleaning cost of $160,000, it is possible to save $4.3 million a year while reducing carbon emissions. With the collaboration feature built into Aspen Tech's operational insights, we can quickly communicate the recommendation to others and set a target date for heat exchanger cleaning that will reduce carbon emissions. As before, the planning model informs us of the carbon and economic impacts of this proposed action. As you recall, the flow sheet also identified utilities operations as a bad actor. Here utility operators can drill down and see that actual emissions are higher than planned emission. During planning and scheduling, the utility plant is often not rigorously modeled. But with this solution, you have access to a plant-wide utility optimization model that specifically looks at all utility sources, uses, and costs. It will provide a utility plan that can be run at any time to minimize total cost and CO2 emissions attributable to the utility system. Knowing the energy demand from planning and leveraging Aspen Utilities Planner, we can recommend changes in utility sourcing that will reduce CO2 emissions and energy costs. Aspen Utilities Planner advises which equipment to turn on or off based on the equipment optionality in the refinery and utility choices available, resulting in the lowest utility costs and CO2 emissions along with highest operating reliability. As before, it is possible to see the carbon and economic impacts of the proposed actions for the utility section. Finally, we discover excessive hydrogen flaring at a rate of 60 kg moles per hour in the steam methane reformer, or SMR, hydrogen unit, which contributed to CO2 emissions that are higher than plan. In this network, the hydrogen producers are the SMR and catalytic reformer, while the consumers are two hydro crackers and two hydro treaters. Those four major units are not being optimized. With a dynamic optimizer available in Aspen GDOT, the manual system is converted to auto by enabling dynamic optimization for the hydrogen envelope. This increases hydrogen throughput in the hydro crackers and hydro treaters, while decreasing hydrogen production and flaring in the SMR. The optimizer gradually reduces hydrogen flaring to the minimum level. Minimizing hydrogen flaring optimizes production in the SMR. Here you see the hydrogen production in the SMR reduced from 2300 kg moles per hour to less than 2,000 kilogram moles. Same as before, the expected hydrogen network mitigation impact can be calculated by running the planning system with these new optimization targets and parameters. At a management and CXO level, the site-wide mitigation impact can now be evaluated. Here the different options that were identified by the teams can be ranked for final decision-making on which to implement and in which order. When those actions are put into effect, Key stakeholders can see on the enterprise view how the emissions and profit picture are changing. Once the reduced CO2 emissions and increased profitability and capacity change the KPIs for the France refinery, attention can then be turned to the refinery with the next highest carbon emissions for mitigation actions. Each refinery team has complete visibility into the actions of the other teams. This becomes a crucial tool for sharing best practices. Finally, as part of this solution, you can create a completely auditable carbon emission report for regulatory and financial inspection and audit. With this breakthrough emissions management solution, companies can make more profitable, more sustainable decisions in real time across all of their sites and quickly see the results. Yeah.